Hi, I'm Sarah from Pretty Providence, and today I want to tell you all about how to use Cricut fonts in Cricut Design Space. I have used Cricut Design Space for quite a few years now. I have learned a lot of tips and tricks along the way for creating beautiful designs, and I want to share them all with you. So the first thing we're going to cover is which type of fonts there are available in Cricut Design Space, what's a Cricut font versus what's a system font. I'm going to talk about how to fix the spacing between letters with Cricut fonts, as that's a frequently asked question we get. And I'm going to talk all about script fonts, AKA cursive fonts, so that you can create even more beautiful designs in Cricut Design Space. Cricut fonts are fonts designed specifically for Cricut. Using these fonts ensures that you will get a clean cut every time. System fonts are the fonts that are already installed on your computer, whether those are there by default or you downloaded them yourself. If you have subscribed to Cricut Access, hundreds of fonts are available to use for no extra cost. Those fonts will have a little green A next to them. Other fonts have a purchase price. In Design Space, you can also filter by type of font. You can choose between fonts you own, multi-layer fonts, single layer fonts, writing fonts, or fonts you have saved for offline use. Unfortunately, there is no way currently to search for a script font or a bold font necessarily, so to do that, you'll just have to scroll through the options. You may have noticed if you've used cursive fonts in Design Space that when you type a word in cursive, it has some extra spaces in between each letter and it doesn't exactly look like cursive. I'm going to show you how to fix that a few different ways so that you can create beautiful cursive words for your designs. So we are in the Cricut Design Space canvas. I have chosen a font. It says Alexis Maddox Emma Ray. It's one of my favorite cursive fonts that they have in the Cricut Access Library. So, I have written cursive font, and I'm gonna show you how to fix the spacing and clean it up so that it actually looks like cursive. So, the default spacing on all of the fonts in Cricut Design Space is 1.2, but obviously that does not make sense for cursive or script fonts. So, one way to do it is just to change the letter spacing. Maybe let's try zero. See how it all just kind of goes a little bit closer together. You can keep playing with it until you find something you like. I'm doing negative 0.4. That, that's pretty close to perfect, but as you'll see, there are some letters that are close, close together now, and then some that are still far apart, and that's not what I want. I want everything to kind of have an even spacing or as even as it can be. So what I prefer to do instead of, let's just go back to what it was before, is to ungroup. So I'm going over here and push ungroup. I'm going to ungroup all the letters. And then I'm going to, you can either just drag with your mouse the letters one by one, or you can click on it, select it, and then use the arrows on your keyboard to push them over. Either way works. I prefer to click and drag because then I have more control. And then I want to just line up the edges of each of these letters really nicely, as nicely as I can, so that it looks like someone actually just wrote it in cursive, you know? It might not be 100% perfect, but it will look better. And that one's not going to attach exactly, so I'm just putting it close to that V. See how I'm trying to line it up here down at the bottom, too? And then I'll do the same thing for the font, the word font. I'm gonna attach this here. All right, then I will group. So select the word and then go to group. Then you can move the whole word. Then I'm gonna move this word closer to this word and line it up how I want it next to the first word. Once that is done, you can group all, select all of it together and group that. And then make sure with cursive fonts, when, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna enlarge this so I can show you. When you have a cursive font and you just attach, let's say you attach it and you go to cut this, 
it will still cut each letter individually. So you would have lines here, 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 right? Basically where everything comes together, you'll have little lines when it cuts. So what you need to do is make sure that you weld. Once you hit weld, it is all one single cut, except for when it picks up to do a space between letters, but there would not be lines little here, there would not be lines here. So that's what you wanna do. But that is how to fix the spacing in a cursive font to however you want to. And you can also do the same thing for, for any font. You can change the spacing in that exact way. Um, you won't need to weld. If there's space between each letter, you don't need to weld, you can just attach it. We have a blog post on our website, prettyprovidence.com slash cricket dash fonts. And you can go to that blog post and see a list of all of my personal favorite Cricut fonts. I have a list of my favorite cursive fonts, my favorite bold fonts, my favorite font pairings, and fonts for making monograms. So don't forget to check out that blog post and bookmark it for later so that you can reference it whenever you're designing. I also recommend creating your own list of your favorite fonts. You can do that in Cricut Design Space, just create a new canvas and put your favorite fonts into that blank canvas and then save it. And that way you have it in your design space so that you can always reference it back while you're designing. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you have, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more Cricut videos and tutorials coming very soon.